Now, this here's my boy, Nathan. He's special. Nate, be polite and say hello to Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi there, big guy. So, you wanted to ask me about Lily? Yeah. Do you mind telling me what happened when my grandfather came to see you? Well, he knocked on my door a few years after Lily had passed away. I didn't know Joseph too well myself, but I'd heard of him and the good he'd done for the other people around here. So I let him in. He started asking a bunch of questions about Lily, like if I was absolutely sure that she, that it was suicide. And what did you say? The truth, that she was depressed and, and had been for a long time. I had no doubts about what happened. Hmm, all right, anything else? Well, he was weirdly curious about her paintings. Lily painted? Yep, that's one of hers right there on the wall. I see, it's beautiful. So, in what way was he curious? He asked if Lily had painted anything odd or strange. I, I didn't really get what he was after, but I, I let him have a look at her work. He spent some time browsing through them, and then he wrote something down on a piece of paper, thanked me, and left. Huh. Any idea of what he could have seen? Not really. I had the paintings all lined up. Could have been any of them. Would you mind showing them to me? Well, I would if I could, but this is the only one I have left. I sold the rest many years ago to this weirdo art collector. Do you know anything about what happened to my grandfather? How he ended up in a wheelchair? Stroke, wasn't it? At least that's what I heard. Not necessarily. There are some divided opinions about it. Now that I think about it, that whole ordeal happened to him not long after he came here. How long? A week, maybe, at the most. Hmm. I don't need to ask. I don't mind telling me what Lily was like, Sue? I'd be happy to. I'm just running through all the possibilities. Her sister by two years. Lily was like any girl growing up, normal, happy, talking about school, boys, and whatnot. And she and Nathan were close back then, always playing together in the woods. When Lily was 10, she started drawing, always doodling on just about anything she could get her hands on. We didn't have much, really, and so she used what she could. Once I even caught her scribbling on toilet paper. <laughs> on her... 12th birthday, we gave Lily a thick sketchbook with an assortment of pencils. She was ecstatic. That was the happiest I'd ever seen her. From that day, drawing became her life. Eventually, her art teacher at school helped her to get started with oil painting. When Lily was 15, something changed. At first, I thought it was just usual teen angst, but no, this was something different. She started going out disappearing for long periods of time. She locked herself in when painting. She never used to do that. I tried everything. Counseling, support groups, antidepressants. Nothing worked. About a year later, she just oh, oh. gave up. And well, oh, you know the rest. Oh, my old joints. I'm sorry, Sue. Oh. That must have been unimaginable. Thanks, darling, but it's been a while now. I love the I've southern accent. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. Does the name Charles Wade mean anything to you? Oh, he's some big-time businessman, ain't he? Yeah, he owns a large company. That about sums up what I know about the fella. What do you do to support the two of you? Mm, a little bit of this and that. Got me some cash saved up, too. Nathan helps out when he can. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? You could say he didn't quite cope as well as I did with what happened to Lily. He got himself a death wish after what happened to her started drinking and getting into all sorts of trouble. Five years left for him in the joint now. Been there for 15. Man, that must be rough for you. Oh, we're doing just fine without him, aren't we, Nate? Mama takes good care of us. Mama sure does. 
So, tell me about Lily's art. It used to be about cheerful things. Landscapes, animals, bright colors. But as she drifted further into depression, she started painting horrible things. Death and decay. And the last few pieces looked like something out of a nightmare. That's awful. Did Lily ever get any recognition for her art? Not really. Except from the guy I told you about who bought most of her paintings. Tell me about this art collector person. Rich, fancy looking, in his 50s or thereabouts. I'd say he'd be around 70 now if he's still alive. He knocked on that door one day with a wad of cash in his hand. Five thousand dollars. He wanted everything that Lily so much as touched with a brush. Huh. Did he say why? Nope, but I got the feeling that most of that dough was paid so he could avoid any questions. I took the money. I still had Nathan to support. Did the stranger give you his name? No. Well, his face was far from forgettable, though. Big nose, bright blue eyes, looked black Irish. He had a thick black mane, turning gray, no beard. All right, Sue. Thanks. Mm -mm. I think I'm gonna head off now. Sure thing. Unless there's anything in here. I don't think there's any sort of reason to do that. Can I talk to Nathan? What you doing, big fella? Drawing. Oh yeah? What are you drawing? The nice red man. You mean Santa? No, the nice red man. Now what did I say about raising your voice at strangers? Sorry, Mama. I'll be nice. The red man is nice. Don't mind him. He gets so absorbed in his drawings thanks to that wild imagination of his. Just like his sister. Yet another burial ground for those sweet, addictive, not to mention cancer-inducing sticks of tobacco. I'm a huge fan. Now there's a... Oh, what's this now? Oh. There's a thermometer on there that we need to take, but not right now. Fucking catmobile. single pair of boots on display. Boy, do we live in different worlds. Right. Something was special about that girl. I just know it. There has to be some way to find out who bought those paintings. Maybe I can jog Sue's memory somehow. With what? Oh! It looks like she's just oh, punching the door. Again. Come on in. I had a, a few more. She. Hey, Sue, do you recognize any of these men? Well, there's Joseph Rain. <laughs> Always so handsome. I had such a crush on him back in the day. And... No way. That's him. The man who bought the paintings. He's, he's much younger here, but there's no mistaking that hair and nose. 
Are you sure? I'm positive, little cat. That's the guy who walked into this cabin with five grand in cash. That's very helpful, Sue. Thanks. Ugh. Another question for the elusive Mr. Wade. I'd rather just ask her about her dog. No reason to sh- Do you know what this key opens? Well, that's a bit of a weird question, ain't it? But no. Yeah. What do you think about this church? It's a good church. I go there from time to time. I bring Nate, too, when that boy needs the fear of God put into him. No reason. No reason. No reason. Okay. No reason. So, tell me. It used to be about cheerful, but as she drifted fur, the last few pieces looked like something. That's awful. No. I think I'm gonna have a sure thing, little cat. Come back any time. It's getting late. Oh, okay. That's enough now. Hey, you're still up. I was wondering when you'd show up. How did it go? Long story. I found out about some stuff that happened when I was a kid. Wow. What a mystery. So what's the plan now? The plan? There is no plan. This whole thing was a stupid idea. Grandpa is still gone and nothing I do can change that. Besides, it's all dead ends anyway. What about this Charles Wade? You still haven't talked to him? And that strange bright picture you showed me? Those tapes? Listen, I know this guy. Eileen, relax. We can talk about it tomorrow, okay? Oh, it's way too late now. No, I couldn't possibly sleep now. I'm way too excited. Well, that makes one of us nighty. <sighs> Good night, cat. Hey, Kathy, wake up! Ugh, you are so lucky there are no sharp objects near this bed. Guess what? Oh, because you're so itchy, I get Please it. Please tell me it involves you taking a sabbatical. Haha, <laughs> so you found all this evidence, right? Pictures, tapes, and stuff? I guess. Why? Well, as you know, I have a computer. And I know this hacker guy, Dave, and- Fucking hacker guy. Oh, never mind. I'll just write you a note. You go back to sleep. Seriously, Eileen, sometimes I just marvel at how your brain works. I know, right? 